Hello and welcome back everybody, it's your old man Mark Bryce. Today's video we're going to go ahead and discuss some of the future projects that I have coming up in my channel. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm not sure why you haven't, my channel is based on how to make money from home, how to maintain your car, how to do your own projects, how to save money while making money. Well, either way, let's go ahead and talk about the first project that I have coming. The one in the blue bag, we're going to go ahead and discuss that last. So let's go ahead with this one. This one came in about two days ago, but it took about seven weeks to arrive. And what you see here, these are my side view mirror caps. These are not the ones that you just stick on to the existing factory um, side view mirror housing. This is not the one that you put 3M tape. No, this is the one that you're going to have to replace your OEM mirror caps and replace it with these. This, great job on the paint job. If you look very closely, you can see the uh, paint flakes, what, what makes it sparkle. Very, very good. Now, why did I get black gloss side view mirror caps? Well, um, I plan on getting black gloss, getting my roof wrapped. And when that gets wrapped, I also want to do the uh, window, the roof trims on the side. I want everything on top to be black gloss. So I said, why not get my caps black gloss? Uh, this video is going to appear on my channel within a week or so, depending on my time. But let's go ahead and move on with the second project. Second project coming is, this is actually a part two from my previous job that I did, and it's the Ambient LED light kit. Now, if you haven't seen the first one, I highly suggest you watch that one before you watch this one because it's all going to make sense. Uh, the first video I made, it shows you how I installed the LED kit, where I hit the wires, and some parts are going to need some 3M tape for a strong bond. But this one, it's going to be quite different because I already did it the first time. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this because I won't need this adapter because the wire I'm going to splice to the existing one, so which means I won't need this as well. Now, this is all I really need, but I definitely need the long length of wire because I plan on doing the rear doors as well as some parts of the car that I do not want to get into in this video because you're going to have to watch that video when it comes out. So that will be a second project. Uh, this one, should, I should have this one on my channel within two weeks, but it's going to be fun because I love LEDs in the interior. Now the LED kit does have a switch where I'm going to get into it where you can use your phone to change the colors, the patterns. It looks pretty cool, but I only like blue. So I don't really use all the features on my phone. Now let's go ahead and talk about the third project. Now the third project that's coming on my channel uh, will be a replacement. It will be installing the last fit LED lighting. Now my vehicle is has the uh, HID ceiling lights and it's four years old. My car is a 2020 altitude. Now when I turn on my car, the uh, temperature it used to look white, maybe it was white, I'm not sure, but it's forming into this yellow hue. And since I've had this car now for a year, that yellow hue is getting duller, if that makes sense. I don't want that dull yellow look. I want my car to have that white or pure white LED look. So I'm gonna go ahead with these. I have not installed them, obviously. Um, and if everything works out, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this version, but for the fog lights, just so it has the matching color temperature. Speaking about temperature, this is 6K. So it's that pure white with a little bit faintly blue hue. No problem, I like it. Any color is better than that ugly yellow color. So I'm still debating if I'm gonna go ahead and remove my bumper to install this, or just go ahead and go through the uh, engine bay. But we'll see. You're gonna have to wait until that video comes out to see how I did it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun project from what I hear. So now let's go ahead with the last project. This project I'm saving for last because it's the most expensive one. I did not pay anything for this that you're gonna see inside this black in this blue bag. Now, for those that do follow my channel, you know that I sell online. I have clients where I sell their stuff online. Now, these are for the people who do not know how to sell online or don't have the time to sell online. So I do it for them. And then after we pay off all of the um, 
uh, for example, the bills of shipping, payments, uh, the uh, fee that we have to pay for eBay, if it sells on eBay or whatever platform we're selling. So we go ahead and, and uh, deduct all the fees and whatever's the net profit, we go ahead and divide it in half. I do that with all my clients, but this is a new client. Now, this client of mine deals with Durango's, deals with a few Challengers, uh, car parts, uh, and some Jeeps. Now, he gave me one of he gave me two different car parts and one i already have in my store i'll put the image right here um it fits my vehicle i just don't want to install that in my car at least not yet not for another couple of years not until i get my exhaust set up and then i may want to install that but this one luckily i saved 400 dollars if this works because i was in the market for buying one of these and what is it it is the eight back lowering springs now this fits a 2014 because i googled the number it's 28108.002 0.002 uh i believe is the rear and 0.001 is the front i may be wrong or it could be vice versa but i did google it does fit the jeep of 2014 it may fit my vehicle and that is the reason why i'm going to go ahead and see if i can get an estimate and see if this can fit in my vehicle and if it does work out i just saved myself some money because the owner said that hey first find out if this fits your car if it does it's yours if not let's go ahead and sell it and you know we go half these so that is what i'm going to do with these lowering springs so that's pretty much that's pretty cool and that is a future project and those are the projects that are coming on my channel so if you're not subscribed highly suggest you do all right everyone this is mark bryce and i'll catch you on the next one peace Stop, slow down, slow down, and no, right there. Now come to a stop. There you go. And I got it from here. And then... That's it. No, that's fine. The car does that because it's an automatic. <laughs> and that's it. You drove home. Let's go. You drove home. Thank you, puppy. I love you. Love you too.